Hey everybody, it's me Denise with part two of the 14.6 14, 14 pound Pennsylvania eBay box. Hope y'all are doing well on this Tuesday night. My husband did not fall down tonight playing tennis. Yay! Everybody was worried. They ran up and checked his eye and stuff. But it looks great. He heals incredibly fast, so I'm happy about that. They had fun. and uh, He played two sets and then he, oh, I'm done. So anyway, um, let's get going. Thank y'all. Oh, welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome to my old subscribers and all my pirates. I love y'all very much. And thank you for joining me again. Your loyalty is unrivaled. I love y'all. Anyway, here we go. Let's see. Okay, this is a seed bead. Oh, it has a tag on it. Ooh. Carol for Eva Graham. Anybody know of this person? Or the Eva Graham person? Oh, it was 20 bucks. Oh. Well, this is... Oh, there's AB on this. Lovely green. I love this green. Love, love, love it. This gold tone. And press it annoy. It's got a little... Uh, one of the seed beads as an end, the, on the end of the extender. And, oh, it has a pendant also, a gold tone pendant, pear shape. They look in, it looks in great condition. Obviously, it's new, and especially, I don't know how anything survives these boxes, man. They get mashed and shipped and thrown around. This would be four bucks, okay? And there's an earring and oh, another earring. Well, this is an enamel bracelet. It's green. And it has a toggle clasp, which is unusual with a, a gold tone. Let me see if I can get this on my wrist. Yep. Yeah, well, it was very easy. I didn't try to stretch or anything. And there's plenty of room over here with the uh, clasp. This would be $3 in the bracelet department. <laughs> and there's no name on here either. The enamel's in great shape. There's an earring. There's going to be lots of earrings right here, it looks like to me. Oh no, my paper towel. <laughs> Someday I'll show you my island. I don't, I don't know if you remember, I told you a story about that. It was uh, in a hotel down in Miami where my father-in-law, who's now in heaven, uh, worked in the 60s, a long time ago. And um, they remodeled, and he, so he bought this. It was a table. It's a huge slab of of uh, marble from Italy. It says Italy underneath. Because the guy that was helping us put this up here, he just sort of tipped it over and let me hold in the bag. It weighs 9,000 pounds. Anyway, um, yeah, so he got this and another table and two chairs. They're really beautiful stuff that came from there. And it's one of the famous hotels down there. I can't figure, think of the name. Owned by a famous person. Yeah, that was back in the sixties. Okay, there's. I've tried to fix that. Maybe I'll slap a piece of tape on there. Hold on, let me do that because there's going to be little invaders trying to sneak under the uh, paper towel. What y'all going to do for Easter? I can't find tape. It's over by where I package stuff. I mean, we'll hope that no earrings get in there. What are you going to do for Easter, y'all? I'm not cooking the main course, but my um, husband's daughter and her husband were going over there. And I'm making all the side dishes. She's making a ham. I'm making a cake. It's a French vanilla cake, but you add pudding to it. But my husband said there has to be chocolate. He's the chocolate cuckoo. So I'm going to make the Hershey chocolate um Frosting recipe, which I love, and he loves, too. Anyway, back to the uh, bracelet. I don't know what these are, except for, like, little starburst or something. And then this is a rhinestone. It's closed in the back. It's very pretty. It's very unusual. I've never seen anything like this before. It has a, a lobster claw clasp and a little extender. And a very blue, pretty blues, like teal. This is a light teal. Very, very unusual. They're very nice. See that AB on there? Got a nice bracelet. Um, that'd be $3 in the bracelet department. An earring and 
another earring. Ooh, that's enamel. Mm -hmm. Hey, come back here, wait. I gotta steal the backs. Why do you steal the backs, Miss Denise? Because if something, an earring doesn't get sold, these are perfectly good backs that I could be using on things that have sold. So, you know, they, they'll sit in a box and they're not being useful. Unless they have the same name as the um, actual, what in the world? As the actual, oh, as the actual uh, earring. I'll take them off and put in my earring back in there. Okay, this is a double strand necklace. I'm gonna test the pearls in a second. I think they're faux pearls. Ooh, this is really pretty. Yeah, let me see, I think they're faux pearls. They're too perfect, yep. Yeah. Okay, these are purple. I, I, I don't know if they're wood or acrylic, but they're a nice purple. And these right here, these little stations, they're like a two, there's a textured part, just a circle, and then a striped part, not striped, but you know what I mean? They're like, make a little knot. They're really cool um, stations. And they're, they jump around the necklace. Then there's a chain, an S chain in between, it's gold tone. And then you have another pearl and a, there's a wire wrap type uh, station between these two. Very interesting. Okay, so this is a double. So let me hook it up so you can see. Somebody added the extender. Uh, what in the world? Hold on. Hold on a minute. Some psycho was on TV. <laughs> I started yelling. I'm like, what? I have the TV on as a buffer between the bedroom where my husband's sleeping. Then there's the droning of the TV and then me blabbering. So it works out well. There is a bead on the extender. And this is a, a long necklace. Uh, and there's no name. The lobster claw clasp is in good shape. This would be $3. Okay. And this is an... I think somebody, they painted this rather than putting enamel on it. It has um, grooves on here. This would be a dollar, the bracelet. Let's see what's in the bag. So yeah, tell me what you're going to do for Easter. I always like to know what everybody's doing. Oh, this is a little girl's necklace. That's so cute. Okay, this is a um, sterling, mm, silver tone, silver tone necklace with a lobster claw clasp and a huge extender and then a rollo chain and it comes down to a little unicorn with rhinestones quite see that is so cute has rhinestones on the tail and on the mane this will be a dollar in the necklace department and i got another bag yay me <laughs> Ooh, i like these Okay, these are faux pearls, obviously, but they're a um, bronze color, cool looking design on here. I don't know if this is hand painted or a decal. Very cool. It's every other one, and they're and they have smaller little faux pearls. And um, I don't know if this is supposed to be black metal, but it's black metal on the clasp with the obligatory hair. And then you have a nice extender with a faux pearl on the bead part. This is choker length, and this will be $2 in the necklace department. Very cool. Got me some unusual stuff in this one. This came from where? Pennsylvania? Hmm. Okay, this is a statement necklace. It's um, orange with red sections in the middle, connecting connectors, I guess. Connecting with gold. It's a nice gold curb chain. Mm hmm. You're getting in the gangster department right here. How big is this? I love fat chains. Mm -hmm. If you got it, you gotta flaunt it, girls and boys. This is, wow, eight and a half millimeter fat. This is a fat chain. And it has a nice extender with a giant lobster claw clasp. It doesn't even look like it's been used at all. It's shiny. It has a bead on the end of the extender. Well, this has never been used. Name, please. No name. Hmm. I don't think this is a current one, though. I, I think this this is a nice chain. I'm telling you what. Just doesn't get bought. It's going to look great on my wrist. <laughs> if I don't, but my skin 
See, like, this is real, right? This isn't. This isn't. Oh, I found this is for sale. This is um, a stretchy, but it has these lovely things there. I love this. And the stretch is not bad. It's good. But I could not sleep in this or shower or whatever. These I can. This is, this is real. But this I have to take off. This I leave on. And then all the sterling I leave on because they don't, I don't eat this. But if you, I put something that has plated, forget about it. I'll get a rash and I'll eat it. Like if I wore this as a bracelet, right? It looks great. There's a Byzantine and this is a curb. If I left it on me and showered with it, like in five minutes, I have a rash starting, I start to itch, and then I'll eat all the plating off. <laughs> now, if this is made by somebody like Monet, they don't have their name on it, but some good company, it won't bother me as long as I take it off, you know, not sleep in it. So anyway, uh, back to the subject. This will be $4 in the necklace department, the statement necklace. I can't wear oranges or yellows. My mother, I said this before, my mother told me because I was a Leo, that my colors are orange and yellow. And I do believe I read it somewhere. That is true. However, on me, I just didn't care for it. I don't know if it looked good on me. Because <laughs> I put them on and went, Ugh! and took them off. Those are two colors that I don't wear at all. Not even in jewelry. I have amber jewelry just because it's amber. But when I put, there were earrings. And I put them on my ears. And I just didn't like the way the color and my skin tone went together at all. So they're in my jewelry box, you know, and all the other amber stuff's in my jewelry box. But I just don't wear it. Oh, yeah, okay, I got it, those. That's very weird. But I guess everybody has colors that they don't like with their skin tone or whatever. Okay. So this is a bronzy looking metal. There's no name on it. It's articulated. This moves. And this is a really nice, um, nicely made uh, acrylic centerpiece on there. It's uh, checkerboard fastening. See how it reflects the light. Beautiful. And then the chain is a nice length, about 22 to 3 inches. It's one of these, okay, with the double clasp. But Y'all told me they were sold necklaces like this. Anyway, for with blouses, this would be two dollars in the necklace department. Okay, then this one that was hooked to that one. Uh, I see rhinestones. Okay, this one also has two lobster claw clasps. Clasps. Ugh. Okay, grief. Okay. Uh, well, that's backwards. All right, let me see if I can get this draped right. Look at that. This all dangles, and then like every third or fourth one is a rhinestone chain, then a curb chain, then um, rosary style. This one right here is rosary style, links with um, beads on them, silver tone. This is nice. Especially if you have a low-cut blouse, mm -hmm. or a turtleneck for winter, that'd be beautiful. And down here, we don't change for the seasons because we don't have seasons, really. So we wear what we want all the time. And this is a cable chain. And then there's two uh, clasps, though. You can do what you want. This would be four bucks in the necklace department. Oh, how cute is this? All right. Looks to me like this is an angel with a little heart. This was, If this is a real shell, which I'm thinking it is with resin on it, this is a haunt. i got to get this undone. There's little bells on here, too. I think this is, you know, there's two different necklaces tied up in this. Oh, um, I have, uh, I won two more eBay boxes. I won them, and then... I'm going to try, and I'm going to go ahead and go for it and get a blue box on Friday, okay? I haven't bought one in ages because I was so disappointed with them, but so many people slammed them. I think, because I've been watching others, and I think that they're stepped up, you know. Okay, so this is silver tone, the chains, right? This chain up here, which somebody put on, is gold tone. It's a Rolo. 
very long. This is very heavy, this angel. It's beautiful. This is a rhinestone type. Oh, no, it isn't either. It's a glass or acrylic. I can see through it for the head. These look like shells. However, it has A, B on it, okay? How, and they're thick. They're very well protected. It could be a shell because there are some shells that are ginormous or bigger than my head. Could be a shell. There's no way to test. This is acrylic right here, this little heart. This is beautiful. It has little teeny beads right here. They have AB on them and they move. This is really well made. And then the dangles on the bottom with little bells. But this is a different, I want to try to look to see if I have a, a silver tone chain to go with this. Oops, sorry. And it has a big fat lobster claw clasp for the size of the necklace. Um, I don't know if the chain was little that came with it, but that's how you hook it on. See how they did that? You just loop it. That's the correct way to do that. This would be $5, okay? And if you buy it, you want to, I'll find you a nice silver tone chain, okay? All right. Oh, let's see. I'm talking a lot tonight. I'm not, I'm going to try to do two videos a night because it's better on my phone. My phone likes it better and it uploads faster. I got done at two in the morning about, and then I collapsed on the couch. So <laughs> that was a long day yesterday because of the doctor. I had to get up, went to sleep at four, got up at six, la, 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 la. That's why I only go twice a, a month to ten. <laughs> Unless we're pillaging, of course, then that motivates me. Okay, this is a black very small. Maybe I can get it on. Yeah, I can get it on. It's aluminum, black, um, well, got a metal bracelet. There's no markings on it. It's a dollar. This thing is what I was trying to get at because it has, I think it's uh, Premier Designs. No, it's Chico's. Okay. And it says Chico's on the pendant also. It's a silver tone. It's very thick. Ew. Okay. So... This is resin on here, but it has like glitter in it and some kind of designs over here. It's really cool looking. I don't know if you're getting the glitter part. Yeah, it's right in there. This is very cool. And it has a really nice bail. Do you see that? That's a nice bail. The kinds that unhook and clip up, uh, unclip, they have the hinge up here. They're called enhancers. So you can take it off of whatever and put it on whatever. Like, they were meant for pearls, but this is not one of them. But it has a nice uh, bail also opening. And this, um, this extender is big, Rolo, with a bead on the end of it. And the lobster claw class is huge. Very nice. And there's the tag for Chico's. And the end caps are in great shape. This is a nice necklace. That'd be four bucks, Okay. And then, more plastic bags for me. Okay, oh, this one is hooked onto this one. Okay, so this is what this looks like. But I'm not supposed to show you that. But anyway, that's very cool. And we have both of them. Very nice. I'm going to put them together because they are a pair. I love it when we get pairs. So I'm going to order some of the... <laughs> I just painted my nails. Look at that. Yeah, it corroded. I'm going to order some of the gel, I think they're called, of nail polish with the UV light thing on Amazon. Ooh, I like these. These are brass. Normally, um, some on some of these, they'll have a hole in here, and that's where you can pull beads up and tie them off. They, they use it for end caps also, but these are really cool. They have little teeny tiny beads. I know I'm rattling on about an earring, but, you know, I love you guys. I Wish we could go live. I'm shooting for that. Then I can interact. That'd be so much fun. Okay. This is a brass gold tone color with acrylic right here. And then little beads all the way around. And then more um, elaborate beadwork on three parts of the bracelet. This is a nice yellow. And the gold, this would be $2 in the bracelet department. Okay. Let's see, this is a pair of earrings and two bangles. These are each a dollar. This is a gunmetal with 
diamond cutting, so it looks like there's rhinestones. There's not, but it really looks, they makes it pop. And this one is also diamond cut. It's aluminum, but it's gold tone. It looks like there's rhinestones in there, right? But it's not. So they're each a dollar. Okay. And more. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Is it writing? No, this is a, okay. So this guy is a wolf howling at the moon and we have a full moon tonight. I don't know where you're at, but I guess it's a full moon everywhere, right? <laughs> on, on the United States anyway. And this is not sterling. I'm looking, anyway. He's howling at the moon, he's cute. He reminds me of the Native American type of um, design. And another earring. This is a volunteer Red Cross worker thing, and I guess, oh, this is two, I don't know what that means. 231 or 321 or what? One, two, three? I don't know, it's a pin. It's very old, it has a verdigree, verdigree, and that's how you put the little things on, right there. Okay, that goes over there. Earring, cool earring crystal. Here's another green color. This is the same green color like this one. See, see this. Remember this necklace. This is the same green color. Only this has um, beads, seed beads in it. They're bigger than seed beads. With a lobster claw clasp, and it is silver tone, with a an extender that is long without a bead. End caps are good, and it has these um, geometrical shapes plus the round beads. And this would be two dollars. It's the same color, so whoever put this part in here, they like this color green. What? This is like a weapon. Look at that. I could hold my hair up with this, maybe. This is so pretty. Wow. I don't get excited about hair ornaments because they don't hold my hair. It's too fat. This is cool. It has all the rhinestone, red rhinestone. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna stick it in my head right now. Let's see if it'll hold my hair up. Cause I have it on the knot, so it don't get on the set. It doesn't get on film. Wow, that's giganto. Okay, this is just a wooden bead, a bead bracelet with a silver tone stations. It's a dollar. And there's a back to an earring. Yeehaw. What does it say? Or is it just little marks? Yeah, it's little marks. And there's my earring thing right there. Earring back thing. Ooh. Oh, if any of y'all have oriental, this is cool. This is very cool. Okay. This is a tassel. I'm not afraid of this tassel. This is silk. And then this has some kind of oriental saying on it. Um, this is red and wine and black color with a um, barrel clasp, a hidden barrel clasp that looks like it's never been worn. I don't know what this uh, means, but it's very cool. I would hang it on the wall, actually. It would be three dollars. What I was going to say is, that if any of y'all have any oriental type jewelry that you want to unload, or any oriental art pieces, I'm just like to die for that. That's one of my favorite art besides Italian art. So um, I just I wanted to tell you that a long time ago, and I keep forgetting. Okay, this is wooden, and it's I believe this is, I don't know if this is carving in there. Because it's all different. It's not the same. It might be seeds. I'm not sure. But see, that's all the way through in there. Uh, this is all wood. And this is nice wood. Yeah. I don't believe that's coconut either. I think that's real wood. There's a barrel clasp right there. This is heavy. You know, I would put some lemon oil on this or orange oil. I'll have that orange oil and shine it up because it, it um, helps to um, lubricate the wood. I'd use that on all my furniture, wood furniture, and it, it makes it shine and it soaks in and it um, hydrates the wood. Anyway, this will be um, $4, all right? And these two are aluminum uh, bangles, a dollar each. One gold tone with that. I think this is the same as the other one. Gold tone. And then this has kind of a wave design. 
This is a nice bracelet right here. It's um, heavier. It's not um, it's not like the light aluminum. A dollar each. And this is a cording on a brass bracelet with no marking. This would be a dollar. Orange cording on a gold so gold tone. Ew, these are old. <gasps> what does that say? This clasp says Japan. I believe this to be pre-war. Has a little bit of verdigris on it, but I don't, that doesn't bother me. Ketchup takes it off. It's the acid in the tomatoes. You can't leave it on very long. It would harm these. Now, if, are these real? I don't believe so. And I believe some of the coating. Yeah, right. The, they used these beads that are the same color as the coating.